Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I'm gonna be doing a, a tier ranking video. Um, I completely took this idea from Liza uh, from Black Law, I think her channel is. I'll link her channel below. She um, tier ranked, um, like ranked all of her highly rated reads. I think it was all her five star reads. So I'm gonna be doing the same. I think there's a few four and a half stars in there, but four and a half, five stars, you get the gist. Yeah, hope you guys are well. And um, yeah, I will show you my, I don't know what the word is, the, the rankings. Yeah, I'll show you the rankings and what kind of theme I've used. Um, so yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. So I will talk you through my ranking. So we have, so mine is based on Paramore songs. So I wouldn't say I'm like a huge, um, uh, Okay, let me preface this. I'm a, I'm a par I definitely am a Paramore fan. However, I don't like their new stuff. So I kind of stopped actively listening to them after, I'd say Brand New Eyes, that album. Um, so yeah, but anyway, so I chose to do Paramore songs because most of the Paramore songs I love are all five star to me. So, but there's obviously some which I love more than the others. And obviously these are just the ones which I just, from the top of my head, I thought, oh yeah, like, you know, there's obviously some others in here which didn't make the rankings, but so yeah, first is uh, Decode Acoustic. This ranking is just absolute, like God tier, like there's nothing like it. Amazing vocals on that song. Um, I know it's a little bit basic because it's from Twilight, but it's literally one of my favourite Paramore songs, especially the acoustic version. It's just perfection. So I chose this as the top one. It's basically like I could read this story again and again sort of thing and just not get tired of it. So Decode Acoustic. Then Crush, Crush, Crush. That definitely is one of my all-time favourite Paramore songs. I was very lucky enough to see Paramore with Yumi at six, supporting, by the way, in 2009, I think. I had to see if I can find a picture and my uh, concert ticket one of the best gigs I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> it was so, so good. So I remember Crush, Crush, Crush playing and I just remember having goosebumps. Amazing. But yeah, that's up there as like, I mean, it's not something I could probably listen to on repeat because I'll probably get a little bit sick of it. But it is just, it's a very like special song. It was either Crush, Crush, Crush or Pressure. That was, Pressure was the first song um, from Paramore I ever heard from um playing the sims 2 um because it's on the soundtrack but it's like in simlish and yeah that's the first song that got me into paramore but anyway so it was either between crush 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 and pressure but i chose crush 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 and then the next one is when it rains again i absolutely love this song so much just basically the three albums um all We Know Is Falling, Riot and Brand New Eyes are my favourite albums. Like, I think pretty much every song on there I love. But yeah, When It Rains, I'm, I chose that as the third one because it's kind of like, again, it's like, I, I love it, but I don't like, it's not like, um, you know, it's not like top tier. So When It Rains. And then the next one, Emergency, again, that is literally a, a, a top, a favourite of mine. But again, it's like, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd want to listen to that all the time. And then finally, we've got Stop This Song, um, which I think is a bonus on the, uh, a bonus track on the right album, I think. And um, again, yeah, I love this song, but I don't listen to it as much. But when I do, I'm like, oh yeah, this is a banger. So yeah, those are my rankings. I don't know if they make sense to you, but they make sense to me. So <laughs> that's all that matters, I guess. Um, because you know, some of these books I kind of look back and I'm like, uh, I don't know if I'd rank them as five star again. So I kind of just wanna yeah, go through and see where they where they fall under. So yeah, anyways, um yeah, I'm gonna get to it now. So first one I'm gonna do Snowed In. We've got Snowed In by Catherine Walsh. I really enjoyed this book. So this was a fake dating Christmas book where um, I can't remember the name of the characters, but we follow a girl. Oh, I um, can't remember her name, but she's a runaway bride 
and she bumps into one of her old schoolmates, Christian, I think his name is, it's set in Dublin. Um, it's really cute, like fake dating story. You know what you're going to get from it. And it was unexpected five star for me. So I think this is going to go in, I think this is going to go in emergency because it's like, I think, I love it, but I don't know. I think I'd get sick of it if I read it again. Actually, yeah 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 okay um yeah emergency okay so we, and then we've got the rebound by leanne slade i i read uh, read i listened to this on audible again this was an unexpected five-star read it was so good it, i think this was another fake dating one we follow uh kitty and archie i think she um what happens is she gets proposed to and she's just like oh my god, like, no, so, um, she's, um, and then she breaks up with her partner, this is all in the blurb, by the way, she breaks up with her partner, and she kind of starts a fake relationship with her colleague, like, nemesis at work, um, what was his name, Leo, Leo, right, let me tell you about Leo, right, you know, when you have those book boyfriends, book husbands, he is book boyfriend or book husband. I'm telling you, this is why I loved this book and it was a five star. You know what? I'm going to put that in when it rains because I don't think it's as high as Crush, Crush, Crush and Decode, but it was a really good book and I would really like, highly recommend it. Even though it's just a really like basic romance book, I actually really enjoyed it and it's really fast paced. Right, next one is My Dark Vanessa um, by Kate Elizabeth Russell. This is a very powerful book. Um, I read this in lockdown and it's about a girl who gets into, uh, I mean, I'm not even going to say gets into a relationship because that's not, it's impossible. She is abused by her teacher, um, her school teacher, and we just sort of follow that. And as she gets older and things like that, it's very, it's a very deep book. Um, again, I think, I think I'm going to put this in when it rains. I think this is a very, very good book, but I don't think I could read it again just because it's, um, it's very disturbing. Um, it's very, very disturbing. And it just, yeah, it makes you think, it's just horrible. It's, it just makes you think how vulnerable she was. And yeah, it's just, it's not nice. Right, so we've got Viola Davis finding me. And this is her memoir. I absolutely love Viola Davis. I really do look up to her as, you know, not just as a black woman, but as an actor, act, sorry, actress. Her memoir was amazing. It was basically, you know, about her life. I can't remember where she grew up in, but um, she, you know, grew up from poverty and just how she literally went from that to being a really successful actress who's got like a Tony award and I don't know if she's got an Oscar but she's obviously got very you know high achieving awards and she went to Juilliard and things like that so it was a really really lovely memoir and she, I listened to it and she read it so it, I loved it even more so I think with this one I'm going to put it as I'm going to put it as crush 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 because I don't think I would be able to reread it again but um it's very, very powerful book and I would highly recommend it. Next is another memoir, um, I'm Glad My Mum Died by Jeanette McCurdy. Again, this is a fantastic, oh, I don't know if you can see that now. Oh, never mind. Um, hopefully you can see it. <laughs> uh, this is a fantastic, uh, fantastic book. Um, lo I, I won't bore you with it, but it's obviously Jeanette McCurdy. She's famous from being an iCarly and is it Sam and something? I never, I never watched that, but um, I watched, used to watch iCarly. I think I was a little bit too old for iCarly, but I still enjoyed it. And um, yeah, so um, she obviously talks about her life being a child star and also her tumultuous relationship with her mum and just how abusive it was. And yeah, really, really powerful memoir. She also reads it as well. And I thought it was really good. Again, I think I'd probably put that in Crush, Crush, Crush rather than Deco, just because I probably wouldn't reread it again, but it's fantastic still. The next is The Vanishing Half by Britt Burnett. Burnett, Burnett, Burnett. Um, and this again, you know what? I think 
we've got our first i think this is going to go in decode acoustic this is a phenomenal phenomenal book about um twins or sisters i think and they um i think this is a set oh it's a historical fiction book because it's set like before 1960s and um one is white passing and one is black and their lives obviously yeah they lived their lives before where they were just together and then something happens and then they kind of go separate ways and it's just so interesting to see what the you know their outcomes of how just someone who is white passing and someone who's black and just oh it's just incredible it's it was really really Brilliantly written, I think, and I would love to reread that book again. Again, I read that in the lockdown and um, I thought it was really good, really powerful. So, yeah, definitely, definitely up there. Queenie by Candice Carty Williams. Again, this is a lovely, lovely book. Um, it's about uh, Queenie, who she's a... She's, she's mixed, isn't she? Is she Jamaican and Indian, I think? And it's set in London and she's a she works in publishing or or she works in she doesn't work in marketing i can't remember she works in that sort of writing publishing world pr world and it's literally just about her life her friends and um a relationship that she's going through and yeah you just go on a real adventure with her it's really um it's a nice easy light read and i don't think i'd reread it again but um I did really enjoy it. I think I'm going to put it in. Mm, mm, oh, this is this is hard. Because I'd say my dark Vanessa is. You know what? I'm moving my dark Vanessa to crush, crush, crush. That book is is very good. I think I'm going to put Queenie in when it rains because it is really, really good. But I don't think it's like it's not groundbreaking. Do you know what I mean? Right. Next is made. Um, I read this book after I watched the TV series on Netflix. Oh my gosh, I loved the show. The show is really good. It's got Margaret Qualley in it, I think. And her mum plays her mum in real life. Uh, no, <laughs> her mum in real life plays her mum in the show. And it's so, so good. And the book was really good as well. Um, so this gives an insight into a young lady who um, is in an uh, abusive relationship with her partner and she becomes pregnant and um she's really down on luck and she starts cleaning homes because she literally has nothing else um that she can do i think she has to put her child through preschool or kindergarten and yeah she cleans homes and then she kind of um obviously while she's cleaning she's getting to know her clients but obviously they're not there and it's just really good how it's clever how it's written and it's really fascinating um i would put this in i think i'd put this in crush 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 it's actually really good um it's also you know i think it gives another gives a closer look into like you know the poverty line especially in america we all think you know the big american dream and things like that and it's just really not the case so um yeah i think crush 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 definitely um we haven't done Stop This Song yet. <laughs> okay, so we've got Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Um, Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Oh, I'm going to put this in When It Rains. So this is a book about, is it Nora, is it? Nora Stevens. Um, she's quite like an uptight um, literary agent uh, living in New York. And her and her sister, um, oh, basically she's pitching a book or one of her books that she has um sold or whatever is really successful and it's uh, i think it's based in somewhere called Sun sunshine falls and her sister books them a trip there and they have like a really girly a girly trip <laughs> there obviously and her sister writes um a list for her so she you know just to try and get her to relax a little bit and um there she bumps into Charlie, who is like her publicist night publicist, her other like literally literary li literary <laughs> agent back in New York, and then yeah they start a bit of a romance. So, 
Um, yeah, I put it in when it rains. It's really good, but it's not like, again, it's not groundbreaking. But again, Charlie is a book boyfriend. Also, what I love about Emily, Emily Henry's books is you do, they're very deceiving. You think you're getting a cute, fluffy book, but there can be some dark moments in there. And um, she can write depth for their characters as well. So I think that's why. And also, I didn't actually rate this a five star. I think I wrote it, a, it was a four and a half. But I mean, four and a half, five star, pretty much the same. Okay, so next book is Eleanor, Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. Hmm. I'm going to put this in when it rains as well. I'm going to put this in when it rains. I think this book is really good, actually. Um, I think the main character, she's neurodivergent, is she? Or she... I think I'm not too sure, but um, that was interesting. So I've never I've never read uh, from that perspective before, um, and yeah, it's just a really nice story. Um, well, no, no, it's not. It is a nice story, but there is some dark moments there. It's just a very like real story, and it just you go you really go on a you go on a journey with Eleanor and get to kind of discover how she is and how she is how she is and no why she is how she is is that right yeah you get to discover how why she is how she is and all of the supporting characters around it i really like this book actually yeah i really like it i just don't think it's up there with crush 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 and decode so yeah okay um right so we've got bernadine everisto ever bernadine everisto girl woman other this doesn't even need any explanation. <laughs> this book is fantastic. Yeah, I can see why it won the Booker Prize. I don't even have to say anything about it. It's, it's so, so good. And I would, I really want to reread it. Um, so basically we follow like a group, a group. We follow, um, I think it's like 12 different stories, short stories um, of, uh, yeah, 12 different stories of women um, and it's just so fascinating, so raw, so real. Oh, it's just I can't I can't even say too much because I give it away, but it's just so good. And it's it's not written in everybody's taste. It does it did take me a while to get used to the writing because there's no not grammar. I think I said in my other video there's no grammar, there's no uh, punctuation, so there's no like commas and um full stops and stuff like that. But once you get um and speech marks, but once you get into it, it's fine. And I absolutely adore adore that book oh man yeah it's so good like it's one of those books where it's like I wish I would I would love to reread it again like erase my memory and reread it again pa powerful so good right next we've got Paula Hawkins the girl on the train hmm I read this quite a while back I think I read this on holiday I'm gonna put this in emergency Again, I th still think it's a really good book. It's way better than the movie. The movie was awful. Um, actually, yeah, you know what? This actually it, it was a it was a good book that sucked me in. The movie was terrible. I think they they cast Emily Blunt, was it? And no, 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 <laughs> no. They shouldn't have done that. And also, it was supposed to be set in the UK, and it's set in America. I just don't. I hate when they do that. Like, stick to the script. But yeah, The Girl on the Train is really good. It's basically about a woman who's kind of in like disarray and every day she gets on the train to go to work, work. And um, <laughs> she watches this same house that goes by and watches this couple that goes by. And every day she slowly starts to piece together a bit of their story until some she sees something, something that happens and yeah, she kind of gets involved. And yeah, it's, it's really thrilling, quite suspenseful. But it's not something I would probably read again. So, yeah, it's gone into emergency. Next is The Colour Purple by Alice Walker. This is a... Oh, this is... I hope you can see that. This is a classic, classic book. Um, yeah, this is a classic book. I read that... I've watched the film and I really liked it. Um, I haven't watched the remake yet. So if anyone's seen that, let me know if it's if it's good or not. Um, again, I read this so long ago now, so I can't really remember. All I know is I did really enjoy it, but it was quite hard to read. 
um, in some places. So I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it in when it rains. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in when it rains. Just mid middle of the, middle of the road. Still amazing, but yeah, middle middle of the road in terms of the five star ranking. So. Next is Rainbow Milk by Paul Mendez. Everybody knows that I love this book so much. My, yeah, I don't, even, I don't need to go into it. That book is just top tier for me. Sugar Baby by Celine St. Clair. You know what? This is one of these books where I'm like, mm, mm. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. I think it might be Stop This Song. I think it might be Stop This Song. Oh, when I look back, I did like the book. I really, don't get me wrong, it's still a really good book. Very fast paced and just, it still had a, but I think it could have had a bit more depth. Um, don't get me wrong, it had a lot of depth to it, but I don't know. I think if I came back to it, I'd be like, yeah, this is a really good book, but it's not. It is not decode acoustic level. It's definitely not up there with that. So, yeah, it's it's down there, but it's still a really good book. I'd highly recommend it. Um, oh yeah, basically about it. It's about um, a young woman called Agnes. Um, she's twenty one and she becomes a sugar baby, and um, yeah, it's just all about that and how she kind of gets intertwined with it all. You know, there's a lot about hyper hyper femininity and sexuality and you know addiction stuff like that so um yeah it is really good but it's just not really really good <laughs> okay so we've got cleopatra and frankenstein right now i'm torn with this one this one is either decode acoustic or crush 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 because this book is just sensational sensational it has got a lot of characters to it but i i really just thought it was beautifully written it had so much depth to it i would probably want to be mm, but what i want to reread it that's the thing hmm hmm i'm really really stuck on that one Oh, I don't, you know what? I might, you know what? It's going to go on top. It's going to go at the top. <laughs> Decode Acoustic. It is a really good book. And I I bought a copy for my, for my friend because I was just like, it's, it is so good. So it basically follows, um, it follows quite a few people, but it follows Cleo, pa Cleo? <laughs> yeah, Cleo. And Frank and their relationship. Cleo is a student. Um, uh, uh, she's an art art student in New York, and she is, you know, a bit skin and just kind of a bit, bit messy. <laughs> and um, she meets Frank at New Year's Eve party. A couple of months later, goes past. They get married because she needs a green card and things kind of evolve from there. But it's just it's not just that. There's just so much. There's so much to it, but I can't really, I can't really explain too much more because I'll be ruining it. But there's just so many like side plots and side characters and it's just written so beautifully. I think it took Coco Mellor's like seven years to perfect it. And I can see why, because it is, I think it's brilliant. I really, really loved it. And if you've read Cleopatra and Frankenstein, please let me know any other recommendations for books like that. I've heard like, maybe I should go down like the Sally Rooney aspect um because i haven't read any of their books yet so yeah so next is ugly by constance briscoe i remember reading this book many many years ago i think i was like in my teens when i read this this is about a little girl who um is abused by her mother and it's a really painful book it's so sad um it's horrible it is really that's from what i can remember reading it but it's just very emotional and um yeah it's it's really powerful however saying that i haven't reread it i haven't read it in years so i'm not too sure i think i'm gonna put it in emergency because i'm just not 
I'm, I mean, it's good, but I'm not too sure if it's still going to be good. Like, obviously, when I read it, I was, gosh, before uni, so I was probably about mm, 16, 17, 18. So, yeah, it, from what I remember, it was just, it was really sad, really emotional. So the next book is The Secret Lives of Church Ladies. This is going straight to the top. Phenomenal short story collection of black women um, in America, particularly down south, I want to say, and just, yeah, in the church. And it's just a very moving book, makes you very thought provoking. Um, just, yeah, the stories are incredible. And I can't wait to see what uh, it, or if Deisha Filio has any other novels coming out well yeah novel rather than a short story collection because short stories aren't really my favorite but I would be inclined to see if she creates any yeah another novel so I know this is being made into a tv show as well which I will be f sure watching I'll be watching that for sure so yeah that's definitely up there I highly recommend that book to everybody and anybody and I think I'm even going to gift a copy of my sister for her birthday so i think she'd like it as well um and it's like a really short book as well you could probably read it in like a couple of days or a week or a day or whatever because i think it's only like 200 pages right next is top girl by danielle marin i think this is crush 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 this is a very impactful book um i think it's a it's not fictional yeah yeah no it's it's definitely not fictional so it's sort of like a memoir um of a girl her real name's not danielle marin i don't think her real name is that i don't think it isn't but danielle marin um was a girl who was set to go to grammar school i think she even might have did go to grammar school and when she was young i think like 14 or something or even maybe 13 i don't know but that kind of age she got caught up in um selling drugs um, she got caught up in selling selling drugs and um, just she speaks about that journey and obviously you know we've all seen top boy so she's like the top girl and I thought it was a really good interesting dynamic because you don't really hear of many women in that space um, and also um, openly talking about it as well so um, I think I urge anybody who's like really interested in that kind of environment to um read this book i listened to it on audio i think i don't think she narrated it i think it was a voice over actor which i didn't think they were great but it didn't matter because i was getting like the main crux of the story and i was fascinated and i was i was i was in um yeah i thought it was really really good next we've got daisy jones and the six by taylor jenkins reed hmm. oh, you know what i think this is gonna go in decode acoustic this is a phenomenal book really so good i thought it was sensational um so this is about daisy jones who um had a quite troubled troubled childhood i'd say and teenage years and she basically meets billy dunn is it who is a member of another band and they cross paths and they start a band together and it's just about their life on tour and just yeah all the antics that kind of and behind the scenes that goes on with that and writing music and creating albums and the band dynamic and it's just so good I really loved it and I listened to it as well and it just felt like a podcast it was amazing I can't believe that it was you know fictional obviously it's probably based on some you know factual things but I really loved it I thought it was so good and I'd highly recommend it and then finally last but not least we have Chain Gang All Stars um, I think I'm going to put this in, I think I'm going to put this in when it rains because originally I did give this four stars and then I did bump it up to fives. I thought it was really good because I was talking to, um, you know, when you start watching, like you start reading reviews and you start watching, um, like reviews about it and stuff, you think, yeah, this is so good. Um, 
I think it's when it rains, it's a really, really good book and I always highly recommend it, but I don't think I'd reread it again because I kind of, you know, I've got the gist of it. It's not something that you would reread. So it's essentially about um, the, you know, the criminal justice system in America and, oh, it's a dystopian novel and it's about how prisoners um, can either do their normal sentence in prison or they um, can, uh, they can um, sign up to the to the program where they have to join a team and um yeah they have to join a team and they have to fight other prisoners to the death and there's like yeah tier rankings kind of like this is rankings and they have to fight their way through the competition and yeah it's just very very dark but it's also you know it's got that it's one of those books where you think like mm, this could probably happen in real life um it's also been um referred to like the same vibes as like squid games and hunger games that kind of vibe so if you like stuff like that it's very violent so be warned it's quite graphic and gory but i don't mind that too much but yeah <laughs> but yeah so this is my uh highly rated books i've read and this is my this is where we're, where we're at so only one in the stop this song but again stop this song is still a great song but it's just not something i would listen to all the time so but yeah i, I think this is not too bad so yeah let me know if you have read any of these books and if you would rank them yeah would you change any of the rankings let me know i'm kind of looking at it now and i'm like oh i don't know if i might move some around <laughs> but um yeah <laughs> but yeah anyway this is just a fun video to do anyway so yeah yeah so anyways guys thank you so much again for watching and i will see you in the next one